In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix the error code 0x8003001f in GeForce Now. Now, this error has been happening to many people, and this is mainly because there is a bug slash glitch in the GeForce Now app that prevents it from updating in the background and syncing with your game. So there are many simple things you can do to fix it, so the first thing you're gonna do is just clear the cache of GeForce Now. So to do this, first close the GeForce Now client if it's active, so I'm just gonna click close here. And then what you're going to do is hold the Windows key and R at the same time, and you're just gonna type this in. So percentage key, local app data percentage key, backslash NVIDIA Corporation, backslash GeForce Now. So I will be leaving a copy and paste for this in the description below. You're just going to click OK. And then from here, what you're going to do is delete the entire CEF cache or CEF cache folder. So you're just going to right click on here and you will just have to click delete over here. Now what you're going to do is just launch the GeForce Now client again. So open up GeForce Now from here. It will take some time to load it in. And it will also look like you just reinstalled GeForce Now, but all you've actually done is just clear the cache for it. So just click next on these menus over here and just try running the game that you're trying to run and see if it works. If that doesn't work, then just quickly do a restart and then see if it works from that. But if none of those work, then you're just going to have to completely uninstall GeForce Now. So to do this, just hold the Windows key and R at the same time. And then from here, you're going to type in appwiz.cpl. And then you're just going to scroll down until you see GeForce Now right over here. Click uninstall slash change. Click uninstall. And then just click close from here. So now you're just going to go to the GeForce Now download website and just click on whatever you have. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click download over here. And then I'm just going to wait for it to download. And once it does download, just follow the prompts to reinstall it and then try running your game to see if it works from there. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any other error codes in the comments below. And thanks for watching.